Dragon Mark for Death released on Nintendo Switch, I was happy to experience a 2D action game with online multiplayer features. However, the online features were most definitely the highlight of this game, and sadly I found that I play the Switch more on the go, which limited the time I had to play it. Being that this game was designed around its online features, I was happy when the developer announced it would be coming to PC. It's easy to see that this is the best way to play this unique 2D action game, but there's definitely room for improvement. Dragon Mark for Death's story is centered around the revenge of the Dragonblood clan. These people are being hunted and on the brink of extinction, which forces them to band together and fight against the Divine Family. It's clear by the way civilians react to the characters that the clan is truly hated, and yet they'll accept help from them. The Dragonblood clan definitely got the end of the stick on this one, but their goal revolves around forging a contract with the astral dragon named Artrum and taking down the ones that aim to destroy them. The story can be easily passed up while you play because the game doesn't really focus on it. Each mission will include a short intermission between characters that slightly details some information about the world and your place in it, but more often than not, you'll just be playing through the missions with the only thing on your mind being gear drops. Still, one element that might hold your interest from the early moments is the gorgeous character sprites, which seems to be a staple in the Inti Creates lineup of games. The gameplay is streamlined into missions that are accepted at the tavern. Here, players can take on quests of various objectives to gain level and collect materials. Each time a mission is complete, a higher difficulty is unlocked for you to replay for more experience and loot. The glaring issue with this is found only for those who aren't playing the game online. If you are thinking of going through as a single player, you should probably find some Something else to play. The PC version of Dragon Mark for Death comes off like a straight port of the Switch version as there are very limited PC exclusive features here. I would have liked to see higher resolution support or more refined textures, but the game was gorgeous on Switch and that isn't lost in this version. Sadly, the frame rate still takes random dives during missions. I'm not sure if this was due to a connection issue or if it was just the game, but there were times when it would drag. When it comes to the online portion of Dragon Mark for Death, I had trouble finding an open room sometimes. However, I never seemed to have an issue getting players to join a room that I created. Regardless, the mission is selected and you're off with the group of strangers to take down some enemies. The game flow of running through a mission with these groups is exceptionally satisfying. Each character plays a specific role in the group, and when it all works, this game is a really fun time. Missions revolve around defeating a boss, escorting a civilian, collecting water samples, and even guiding an air balloon up a tower. There's very little room to get bored here, as the developer has provided a large variety of quests. However, you'll quickly realize that it doesn't matter which quest you choose because the game is all about grinding levels and loot drops. Finding and purchasing new weapons and armor to upgrade allows you to kit out your warriors in exotic threads, and there's a much larger set of equipment unlocked to higher level fighters. An additional layer of customization available allows you to take on new elements of your character. For example, the Empress begins as a fire user, but I can choose to speak to Arctrum to utilize wind abilities. It's just an added option to fit your playstyle, which also appears in the level up system where you can distribute points into specific stats of your character. Dragon Mark for Death on PC is the best way to play this game since the online infrastructure is far more dependable than its Switch counterpart. However, I don't think that the developers took full advantage over this port and failed really to sell this version of the game. Sure, it has controller support, but I was hoping to find improved frame rates and resolution options. Still, this game makes for a great evening, with friends or with strangers. And that's why Noisy Pixel is giving Dragon Mark for Death on PC a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.